Hello everybody, and welcome to Hyperbole Podcast YouTube channel. We're your favorite brothers and your favorite fedora, oh all right god. here. Oh my god. Well, one of those things is true. Yeah. Favorite fedora? Please don't <laughs> let that be the case. <laughs> anyway, my name is Stefan, and I am your first host and brother. My name is Chris. And I am not wearing a fedora. Oh, and that's what's your name? My name is Anthony, and I'm not going to wear a fedora. <laughs> Just like we do on our podcast, if you haven't listened to it, check us out on Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, anywhere you can find a podcast, uh, Blockbuster, yeah. Fry's, um, Harkin Sears, yes. Fry's Electronics, Best Buy, uh, we're there. We are there. <laughs> Physically. Yes. But uh, we're going to answer a question that somebody has asked that is in need of advice, but here's the thing, well, you can't laugh. The first brother the laughs is out of the podcast. What about like, Castrated what about like, ha, ha, ha. and executed. How does it go? Ha, ha, ha. That's, I think, no, we'll that kick you out, but for different reasons. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to read a question that we have no, here. That's great. No, I did that. It's my thing. <laughs> Fine. How can I show my nephew that's five years old that yelling and being loud isn't the ideal Wait, way of getting male? attention? How can I show my nephew, five in a male, that yelling and being loud isn't the ideal way of getting attention? Maybe I shouldn't have yelled that question. Uh, well, I think that you should uh, practice hand signals so that you have to teach them to look for cues. So instead of saying like, pick up your trash, motherfucker, you'd be like, and then they'll look. Like, Exactly. And like Alpha team, trash pickup. YMCA. Chris, any advice? Um, look at the camera. What? Don't look at Chris. Look at the camera. But I want to look at Chris. He's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Everybody, look at Chris. Chris, look at the camera. So you're gonna, since you're speaking, you get the fedora. You're gonna speak. No, 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 yeah, you look like... No, I think he'll be yelling all the darn time. Because wearing a fedora is... The best. Once he gets the is fedora, it he'll be yelling all it's the fedor time. Yes, it's fedor fedorable. Anything else, brothers? No. No. Uh, <laughs> you got it, I'm just end up fedorable. <laughs> this next question is, how do I build stamina? I'm a young guy, about 19, in decent average fit shape who spends a good amount of time playing video games. Once a week or so, I push Mo across 1.7 acres on my property and am fine walking, but running for a minute or carrying heavy objects for 30 seconds oh. leaves me panting. Push Mo like grass, like he's mowing No, he pushed no. He I thought him. it was like a person he knew named Mo, that like he was pushing around the yard. I thought it was a several. euphemism for lots and lots of sex, like getting trim. He's I just push like, Mo. I push Mo. I push some mad 1. Mo. 1.7 acres worth of Mo is what I push. I would guess that that's not the case. If he's asking how to get in shape and his hobby is game. Yeah. I feel like I wouldn't care that much. If he I was, could be. If I was pushing that much Mo, I would probably be pretty. Impressed. He could yeah, play more than one game. You know what I'm saying, gangsta? He's pushing that Mo, getting that trim, and there's Landon one more yard than euphemism. Like he's gnawing on that gnome, that garden gnome. I don't like that one at all. No. It's non gnome. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know about. All right, Stefan right. lost, and, and and then because of so that, Anthony gets the fedora. His fedora. No, and Anthony gets to wear it. And we like. Girlfriend bought me a sandwich. Brought it home three hours later. I didn't need it because it sat out for three hours at seventy nine degrees Fahrenheit. She got really Dang mad at me. Zone. 
She got really mad at me when I told her I couldn't eat it. Am I in the right here, or should I have eaten that sandwich? You're in the danger zone. What? Yeah. The danger zone. I'm stepping to the danger zone. Well, you're in two different danger zones. Ex explain the danger zone. The danger zone. So food has set out for more than two hours. At, at one, I don't know, the 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 144 degrees Fahrenheit. It's in the danger zone. The danger zone. You know what else is a danger zone? Not eating a sandwich that your girlfriend gave you. Because then you're not going to push any mo. You're not going to gnaw on any gnome, and you're not going to get no trim. So that's danger zone number the, two. So it's I pushing should, mo could argue the or part chronic diarrhea. There will be so much no no gnawing. Which whichever of those is worse, you want to avoid. So no gnawing, avoid that at all costs. <laughs> Just compromise. <laughs> That's what gets everybody. <laughs> no, nothing. All right, thank you. <laughs> yes, Chris gets the fedora. All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening and watching this adorable bunch. If you guys want to hear more, listen to us on Hyperbole Podcast. We rub, rub you. you. Rub, rub you. <laughs> <laughs> Just so Spit incorporate. all over yourself. <laughs> oh, you rubbed me too much. Hi, hi, hi. Hyperbole, an advice podcast for three brothers. Three brothers make exaggerated statements not meant to be taken literally. What was that seven? Hyperbole.